Hey everyone, Kim here with Abundant Life Tarot. Welcome to Mystery Mystic Musings. We're taking a look at a current case. This is the case of Shanquilla Robinson. Shanquilla went to Cabo, Mexico with six friends on October 28th, 2022. Not even a day later, she ended up dying after a violent fight, which was captured by her best friend's cell phone camera. The friends left Mexico the next day, which was a day earlier than they planned to leave, leaving Shanquilla there in Mexico. Now, they have various accounts of what happened, including that she died from alcohol poisoning. However, her autopsy revealed that she sustained a fractured spine and a spinal cord injury. And there were also notes of bruises, contusions, and other injuries. At this time, the Mexican government has indicated there's no evidence of foul play. And the State Department for the United States, um, it doesn't appear at this time that they're really doing much in the way of an investigation. Let's go ahead and get started taking a look at the energies surrounding what happened to Shanquilla. And I will say this, I do plan on doing a subsequent tarot reading. All right, let's get started. All right, so Shinquilla Robinson. There was a fight in the villa amongst, it seems like, Shinquilla and a friend, a female friend. What was this a fight about, spirit? Shanquilla was not fighting back and she was fighting, this person was fighting in the nude with her. They were covering this up, the friend group, because they then came back. Well, no, they called her mother, Shanquilla's mother, and then they came back with the story of she died from alcohol poisoning. And then when the autopsy was done, it reveals a fractured spine and a spinal cord injury. What did it have to do with what was going on in that, that villa, that house? It's really heartbreaking. She just, it was sad to see the video that someone's sitting there recording a video of her getting beat down and telling her to fight back as opposed to putting the damn phone down and in fighting the person back or preventing them from doing this. I just don't understand. Like, that is just so wrong to me. I've gone to Cabo with friends, you know, for, uh, you know, celebratory times. And for them to just treat her like that, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand you could just sit there and watch and record. And it's still a, a question to me as to why she didn't fight back. I guess they said she's just not the type of person that fights back, which is understandable. However, I don't know. Her injuries were quite grave. So we have boot. Okay, that's the first card that jumps. Broom, arrow, crow, chalice, or buculum, heart, and water. Okay, so... So interestingly enough, the boot card, and I'll zoom in a little tighter. The boot card is about travel. So this friend group, it, it, it's over the chalice card. There's some celebrations going on. Um, it was 
under the premise, this trip of going to have a good time, have fun, be with friends, celebrate things, um, celebrate life, if you will. So the boot, one of the key meanings to the boot is travel. However, another meaning to the boot card is discipline. Someone feeling like they needed to discipline her, to check her, to put her in her place. Hmm. They were going to, you know, they're going to show her once and for all. There was a sense of freedom in being in Mexico. Untouchable. Untouchable. Huh. Okay. 39 is through. And again, that's speaking again with that boot card of getting a situation in order, get getting someone together. You know, I'm going to get you together here. I'm going to put you in your place. I'm going to check you. It can be sweeping something under under the rug, covering up some kind of um, actions, cleaning up a situation with the broom card. This card sometimes when it comes up, it can indicate something to do with a sexual or an erotic encounter, whether wanted or unwanted. I don't know what that means at this point, but it is one of the key meanings to the broom card with this deck. I'm putting it out there. I don't know what it could mean, but we'll see how the, the rest of the oracle reading transpires. As you all know, I do an opening oracle reading, and then if my spirit calls me to do a more detailed deep dive with the tarot and oracle, I do at another in another video. But right now, we're just looking at the overall overarching energies. The arrow. Hmm. Arrow, what are you telling me? Sending messages. Sending messages. Sending messages. This card also, arrow, is tied, it's, it's tied to this broom card. Because it's sitting next to it, but. It can represent falling in love. I don't know, like I, my understanding, this was just a friend group. I don't know if there was something going on, like if it's just strictly platonic, if there's some element of, I don't know, of raw emotional romantic feelings. Somebody's toes being stepped upon. Somebody's space being encroached upon. Someone, I don't know. But the arrow card, one of the key meanings is it may represent falling in love. Hmm. Crow card is about an omen of bad news. So sitting next to the arrow, it also can represent um, having to convey a, a difficult message and that could be the friends all coming together to clean up a situation about somebody being disciplined and contacting her mother and letting Shanquilla's mother know that this has happened. It does also tie into criminal activity. So, you know, I know that these friends are putting out that this, you know, this was alcohol poisoning or whatever stories they're coming up that is just trying to push them away from it being a criminal element to it. This card affirms that no, there is a criminal element to it. It's, you know, if it were truly was something in her system, like, and I don't know if they've already done a toxicology report, I don't know. This happened on October 30th, I believe, and I'm recording this on November 15th. I don't, I know the autopsy was done, but I don't know about the talk screens. Um, but from just the autopsy alone, the injuries that she sustained, you know, I don't know how they're planning to escape the, the criminal element. Mexican authorities may not choose to 
do anything about it i don't know how that works you know when you commit a crime across you know in another country you're american citizens how does that work can america bring forth charges against u.s citizens against another u.s citizen even though the jurisdiction even though where it occurred occurred outside of the country i don't know i don't know how that worked uh, you know so um that's interesting to me. This is also about them leaving. They left her. They left a, the friends, the five or so, six friends, left her. Um, they left Mexico a day early and left her body there. Now, I don't, again, it, you know, I don't know how I would deal with a situation like that if a friend died with me while we're traveling. You know, you just don't know how you deal with those kind of situations till you're in them. But it's just as peculiar to me. I don't know. Did they even offer to make any arrangements with her, you know, her mom to help kind of be a bridge to to getting her back home? <sighs> if they didn't, that's really effed up. This is about moving from place to place, too. Again, it's like, how much effort did you try to make this right if you left a day early? They moved her from place to place inside the villa, too, by the way. That's what my intuition and what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I, I've stayed in a, villa, a beautiful villa in Cabo San Lucas, and I can just literally see them moving her from one place to the other. They moved her from one place to the next. So when the doctor came in, I guess they call it concierge. Uh, one, of the, one of the friends called the concierge with the villa, and they called a doctor. Doctor comes in, tries to perform life-saving um, CPR, and she succumbs about 15 minutes later after the doctor comes. What isn't probably being revealed is that they have moved her from place to place throughout the house. Now, maybe they have said that. Maybe that has already come out. I don't know. I'm just going based on the general little news articles I've seen. Um, whew. Chalice. I've touched upon it before about them. This was all supposed to be some sort of celebration, some fun, some good times. It's really sad because she really, her intention, Shanquilla's intentions to go out there was to, to have fun with friends to feel abundant, to feel alive, to be 25, to to celebrate birthdays and, and it was supposed to be fun. And initially the moment the weeks leading up as they were planning this trip, it was all of that. But something turned. Um, tempers flared over something that dealing with the matter of the heart. Did somebody make a, a sexual advance and wasn't a, it wasn't appreciated, or did someone was somebody falling for someone else and that person wasn't reciprocating, but they were falling for Shanquilla instead? I'm not sure. But Chalice also deals with love as well. When I do do readings, I'm picking up on multiple layers of meanings. Okay for those who watch my readings to kind of understand my reading style or try to, you know, understand how I'm interpreting the cards or buculum. Ah, sudden insight. Something became suddenly clear and crystallized when they got into that villa about certain things going on that wasn't pleasing to the person, the probably the person who was fighting her, allegedly, the one that's captured on surveillance video, not surveillance, <laughs> the the friend, her best friend, Shanquilla's best friend, her guy friend is recording with his cell phone with the fight. His, his friend is nude, getting beat down, thrown around, hit into a, a very hard bed, um, like frame and it's captured so but the sudden insights is also speaking to something being revealed when they got to that that place when they got to the villa searching for answers is also associated with this card searching for answers it could be her family um prophetic glimpses 
could be something about what we will start to see um, as, as we go forth. It, as time goes on, we already intuitively as a collective are picking up on like something is not right here. Heart. Again, arrow over heart, matters of the heart. Strong emotions. Affection, love, compassion, passion. So this is, you know, it's not money related. I don't sense this is not. This is somebody checking someone over a matter of the heart issue. And it's, it's supported by the water card. Water is associated with mysterious feelings. A lot of dark, deep emotions. Somebody also trying to, to purify the situation, to escape the situation. They, they betrayed her. I'm going to zoom out now. Because we're going to now look at some shadow aspects to the situation, Spirit. What are some shadow aspects to the mysterious death of Shanquilla Robinson? Hold on. Yeah, bully. That one fell on its right side up, I suppose. What are the shadow aspects of the people involved who are around her last? Last people. What about that villa? Regret, hostility, shadow aspects. Anything else? Abandonment issues. Empty. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. We've got bully. Yeah, that's this person, the boot. Somebody is feeling a lot of regret about this situation. I don't know if it's the bully, though. They could. Very well could. Um... Regret, regrets about how things transpire. If they could do it over again, they would. So there is some level of remorse here, okay? But there was a growing hostility and it, it popped off quick. Let me tell you, I was surprised going to Cabo San Lucas, um, Cabo, and how hot it was. But I, when I looked at the map, I realized, oh, it's kind of, it's getting closer to the equator than I thought. I'm from California. So I just simply thought, oh, it's going to be kind of a similar, um, like weather. And it wasn't. It was super hot, super humid. And it kind of made me irritable. I still would never do anything to my friends. I would love them, you know, and care for them and be there for them. And it just it boggles the mind. But I just remember even in the villa and we had to move out of one villa to another villa because the AC went out. And so I was really irritable, like, oh, my God, I cannot take this. It's too hot. And so I just wonder if it was just like kind of like, you know, tempers flaring and it's hot and it's just, you know, I don't know. But somebody is a bully amongst their friend group. Somebody's a bully and somebody, it was a growing hostility, abandonment issues. This is sad because I felt like in watching the, the video that her friend recorded, she was abandoned. No one had her back. But this is also speaking to the person, the perpetrators who, A, who did this, especially the person who hurt her back and caused this. They were feeling abandoned and violated, or not violated, but stepped upon, disrespected. And they have abandonment issues from their childhood, okay? Ambivalence. They all kind of made it up in their minds, like, ah, oh, well, you know, we're going back to our lives in, you know, 
North Carolina, it is what it is. We can't change anything. Some people are some people are filled with regret about their lack of doing anything or preventing this or regret over her losing her life. And then there's some parties that are involved that are just ambivalent, like, well, I didn't I wasn't the one who actually, you know, beat her up. The bully was so, you know, I can move on with my life and empty. Empty. Someone is feeling quite empty. Um, shadow aspects. She, I'm sensing it could be her. Could be Shanquilla. Any additional insights spirit that you wish to share? Is this me? And at first I was like, what well, were they jealous of her? Or like, what was the story there? Like, she seemed very um, successful, but I don't know. Like, it's like, are they jealous? I sense that what I'm sensing here is that they took this, there was something going on before they came and it was a hope, it was hope that things would kind of even themselves out. So whatever is going on, this, I don't know, romantic or this something going on here, they was, I think there was a hope and a wish that if we go on this trip together, things would be much better following this trip, during the trip and following this trip, like something to remedy it. Um, because there's been repeating cycles of fights and arguments, patterns. Saving face, public image, trying on the outside looking like, oh, we're cool friends, but on the inside, there's something else going on here. They took a risk, they took a chance, and wanted to come on to Cabo to see if that would make things better. Is this me? Is this me? Queen of my world. Twofold on this one, and addicted. Could be um, someone, uh, you know, maybe under the influence of some sort of, I don't know, Drugs or alcohol. What is the story there? Queen of my world is speaking to me like she was the queen of her world. She was an entrepreneur, um, a successful hair braider, and she was also a, a boutique store owner. Look at this. Group fight. June. June is of significance. Either somebody's um, um, birthday or June may be when more answers are revealed or major developments in the case. Let me see what else. Group fight. They've been in this pattern. It's kind of it's interesting to me, their friendship dynamic. Because at first you're like, oh, is this platonic? Wrong one. If the, is this a platonic connection? Was there some sort of other stuff going on? Okay. Planned. Now, sometimes when the planned card comes up, it doesn't necessarily mean that they were like orchestrating and planning this back in, you know, North Carolina. It could be that it just kind of popped off, um, you know, and they planned a cover up. Let me see what else. Let me see if there's anything else that comes up. Queen of my world and is this me? I just feel like someone was... I feel like this could represent her. Is this me? And I'm going to have to like tell my husband to be quiet. I might have to pause this for a moment. But um, anyways, 
Let me see. Okay, this jumped over here. Hold on one second. Hold on. always tell him like when I'm he can't tell when my sign is up and I'm recording and it's like oh okay it says this case will remain unsolved until key evidence is discovered and that's unfortunate hmm. they were out of the area hold on just trying to and with the queen of my world, I just feel like there's somebody who was like really getting diva out and they weren't, they could have been like under the influence of something that kind of just made things escalate quickly. This case will remain unsolved until key evidence is discovered. The kill, it says the perpetrator is out of the area. So this means that this happened outside of, you know, their home. This, I don't, and it could also, I mean, I'm sensing that it could be like them also going to come up with an excuse that, oh, somebody may have come in and caused harm to her. But that, what's interesting to me is that that doesn't explain this group fight card, okay? It doesn't explain this bully. A bully would imply that this was sustained over time, as we see with the repeating patterns in this card here. And then it says important details are not being revealed to the public at this time. Here's the thing with this case is that, you know, the Mexican authorities, they're kind of washing their hands of it. Um, for a number of reasons. Tourism, it's not their problem. You know, this is Americans who did this to one another. They're not going to get involved. The State Department is, you know, like, what evidence do we have? How far are we going to investigate? It's kind of in this limbo in between space, you know, and it's really unfortunate. Let me see, because it's like the prince. It's like, what are they going to do? Yeah, they're going to try to say that she did this to herself, which is just ludicrous to me. Jail. Okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting cards, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Footprints. There is digital footprints. There is actual evidence of their involvement of touching her person, you know, so, you know, hurting her. There's evidence there. We have the S word. I sense this is speaking to them trying to say that there's going to be all these different stories. Oh, somebody may have come into the villa and caused this. Or, oh, she did this to herself. Oh, she must have fallen when she, you know, was inebriated. It wouldn't be a stretch that they did the tox report that they find um, alcohol or even drugs in her system because when you go on vacation that's that's what you're doing so it could be easy that they say well she caused this to herself what is encouraging is the jail card that someone may end up ultimately paying a price for what they've done but remember um this case will remain unsolved until ev key evidence and someone has the propensity to do this again now again this could speak to this card oh this person somebody must have come in who, who caused harm to her we didn't do that we let her be asleep and when we came you know we didn't even realize how significantly injured she was never mind the fact that it was all caught on film here you know it's on somebody's cell phone camera this also could speak to who actually took her life they they will be comfortable enough to do something like this again. So it is imperative that they are, you know, they are found and that they are brought to justice, you know. So there's that. And they need to be brought to justice anyway because this young lady didn't deserve this. She didn't deserve to go out like that. 
she had pure intentions she there was something there's something there and I mean I don't know why what the whole relationship dynamic is about or why there is I don't know it's kind of it's odd to me it's odd like trying to see if there's any other insights into the whole relationship dynamic humiliation and guilt somebody was humiliated and somebody feels guilty now as they should So I may, I haven't decided yet, I may go ahead and do a tarot reading to explore some of the individual dynamic relationships between Shanquilla and each of the people at the party to see like, what is that about? Like, what are the dynamics between each of them to kind of narrow down what may have been the cause of this whole fight? situation this group fight so if you think that we would benefit from that let me know i can try to carve in some time to do a reading for that piece um and go from there because i think that may help with understanding the relationship dynamics a bit more all right you all this of course went longer than i was expecting but that's okay that's okay. We did our opening oracle reading. This is for Shanquilla Robinson. My sincerest condolences go out to her family. I'm so sorry. This is just the most tragic thing. I cannot even imagine. They had to pay $6,000 to have her body brought back from Mexico to um, North Carolina. And, you know, they have no answers other than she just was violently attacked and they just were fit you know were given lies and then given law you know the authorities aren't really you know thankfully they did this autopsy but they're not really doing much so i just my heart goes out to them so please folks do me a favor on your way out please hit the like button and also please subscribe let me know in the comment section if you think this is something we should further explore um, we don't have to. We could leave it here. But I am curious about the dynamics between her and each of those friends. Um, because it just is curious to me that those cards kind of came up and somebody being humiliated. She was humiliated in the way that how things, uh, you know, um, she's nude being beat down. But somebody else was humiliated. The best friend could be feeling guilty as well. The close friend to her. All right, my loves, take very good care of yourselves, okay? I'll chat with you all later. Bye for now.